Doctors of Reddit. What is your most surprising I can't believe I need to have this conversation with an adult? Story? Got placed doing a rotation in the orthopedic floor of a big hospital in a rural area of Southern California. I was doing my rounds and saw a patient out of bed and walking around the floor following a knee replacement. She had a cane in her hand that she was carrying like as a solid or would carry a rifle. I asked what she was doing and what she thought the cane was for. She replied she thought the cane was for pushing people out of her way since she's now handicapped and it wasn't to help her walk on her post-op knee. This is the first response that genuinely made me laugh out loud. I can just imagine some cranky old woman swatting people out of her way. I have a cranky old woman story for you. My mom worked at a nursing home as a cook. They ended up having to take away the electric wheelchair of a resident that was 107 because she kept running people over when they made her mad. She was my mom's favorite resident. That the 30 plus cups of coffee he was drinking every day could possibly be the cause of his chief complaints of anxiety and insomnia. He said he was not willing to give this up or try decaf. 30 plus. Man I'm such an amateur. Your heart thanks you for your amateur ways. I had to explain to a grown man I still work with that tampons don't break down in a woman's urine after they were finished using them. He's been married 12 years. It was not his best day. Well it looks like she is about 30 days pregnant congrats. How can she be pregnant she is only around her brother. Well actually they don't follow the same moral code as you or I. Veterinarian. My fragile sanity wishes you had started with veterinarian lol. As a veterinarian. I had a 10 minute conversation with an owner explaining which side was the dog's left side. I worked at a vet clinic when I was in high school. One day a vet came out of an exam room and asked me how to tell whether a puppy was a girl or a boy. Thinking it was a joke or a trick question. I said you flip them over and look. Right? The vet sighed and walked away. Apparently this client who fancied herself a breeder, multiple litters at this point. Expensive breed, had asked dead seriously how you tell if a puppy is a boy or a girl. I had to explain to a client that just because his puppy had nipples did not mean it was a girl. Patient comes to ER. 19 year old male. I'm getting his history. Why are you here today? Every morning when I wake up my stomach hurts. How long has it been hurting? All my life. Well what is different today that's made you come here? My girlfriend doesn't think that is normal. More questions. Exam by ER physician. Lab tests. The abdominal pain always goes away after he eats. Always. He wakes up hungry. He thinks it is pain. My friend is a student doctor and is on placement at a small town doctor's office. She had a 70 ish year old woman come in with complaints of a small but painless growth that was visible at the back of her throat. Turns out it took her 70 years to notice her uvula. That must be the uvula. Oh. So it's a girl house. Monster house. 012. Full scene. 116. Was so not a film for kids when you look at the whole movie and its contents. There were sexual and drug references. It was pretty scary for a kids movie and I just felt a more teenage vibe watching it. My SO. Is a med student. He helped to diagnose a 40 year old woman who finally sought out a doctor after having open. Festering wounds on her entire torso for over a year. The open wounds only appeared after more than a year of painful. Visible lumps on her breasts. She had never sought treatment prior to this. SO. Had to inform her that her entire body was riddled with cancer. That there was no treatment to help her. And that she would be dead very soon. Her sister. Who was there the entire time. Began loudly proclaiming what a shame it was that nothing could ever have been done. And that hopefully someday we would be able to detect cancer sooner. So. Watched the doctor explain that pretty much any other woman in the country would have gotten effective treatment at the first sign of the lumps. This was during breast cancer awareness month. Pharmacist. But comment still relates. Had a lady call and complaining that their husband's Viagra wasn't working. I then went on to explain to the patient's wife that in order for the medication to work. 
The patient needed some sort of stimulation the lady just screamed aloud me. And then hung up the phone. Still my favorite Viagra story. Not a doctor, yet, but an ER tech for two years. Mum comes in with her baby plus two more older kids. Complains that the baby hasn't pooped in a while and won't stop crying. As I'm settling them in with one of the nurses. The baby is bawling. Like opera singer lungs bawling. Suddenly mom whips out a white plastic shopping bag and sticks an end in the kid's mouth. Says this is the only way she stops crying. Nurse and I share a look and immediately order an emergency x-ray on the kid's stomach. Turns out she had ingested a good amount of these bags and it was blocking up in her stomach. Big deal. Potentially life threatening. When we confront the mom about her baby feeding habits her only words of defense are well I checked all over the bag and I couldn't find anything that said non-edible. TLDR. Mom had been letting her baby teeth on plastic bags because she didn't know they weren't edible. God hope this mother lost custody of her children. My mom tells it so much better. But here's a try. My mom was the head nurse at a clinic here in Houston in the 80s. She worked for an old World War II doctor that had gone into private practice, old school GP, when he returned back to the states. Well one afternoon she told me that they had a patient come in that was running a high fever and was complaining of pain in her pelvic area. Mum also tells me that there was a stench coming from the woman's lap that could only be described as enough to gag a maggot off a meat wagon. She begins to interview the patient who told her that her and her boyfriend had been sexually active and that she has been in pain since. She thought that the woman may have contracted an STD and asked her to undress and wait for the doctor to examine her. The doctor arrives and closes the door. Only to reopen it a few seconds later mentioning about the need for fresh air the doctor noticed that there was a vaginal discharge began to question the patient about her sex life. Was it protected? Non-protected? Etc. According to mom. The patient told her no doc. We always use a rubber. The doctor looked down then noticed that there was a small rubber band extending from the woman's vagina. The doctor reached in with his gloved hand and pulled it out. What came next can only be described as a magician pulling the magic cloth out of someone's mouth. One rubber band after another came out over the course of the next 10 minutes. Finally once they were all removed. The doctor had the talk with the woman about sex education and that rubber bands were not a successful contraceptive and not what they meant by wearing a rubber and then wrote her a prescription for ABX. That's disgusting as hell. But I wanted to comment mostly because you use the phrase gaga maggot off a meat wagon. Which I've never heard anyone but my dad say. Funny to see it in the wild. To be 100% serious. This is why proper sex education is so critically important. During residency in an urban NEUSA city. I was in clinic. A very pleasant 50s something lady came in for a physical. Everything was going fine when she casually asks if there are any new vaccines out. She was up to date with everything so I asked if she had any specific concerns. She was casually asking to see if she could vaccinate her gay adult son against homosexuality. Very nice. Always had a smile on her face. Even when I broke the bad news to her. I was a newly minted graduate with fresh and optimistic views on my life as a doctor. Second week in came this old lady and her very dysfunctional family. They would argue and complain about everything. From the food. The nurses they didn't like and every single medical decision we made. She was very very sick so her management was just as complicated. She had several children and they all didn't like one another and would not talk to one another. Each time we would have to explain a long update to every single one of them because they are entitled to hear it from a doctor. One of these stories being sitting down and explaining why you don't give Gatorade as an IV drip. They did not understand why we were giving salt water to her. Conversation with her son. Look she likes Gatorade. She is drinking it so why can't you give it to her through her drip? We explain why. Son frowns. But it's isotonic. We explain again. We explain again. Salt water just seems to be too cheap. Can't you give her something else closer to Gatorade? That has electrolytes. Continues for 2 hours. Wash and repeat every day during her admission. 
Afterwards I told my fiance. He opened up a scene from Idiocracy on YouTube and I just sat there with my mouth open for a while. Client brings in her dog for a tick she tried to burn off. Looking. I see it's a nipple and tell her this. She says but he's a boy. How can he have nipples? I say mom. Your husband has nipples. Blank stare. Then light bulb moment for her. A 32 year old grown man asked me if the hot spells he was experiencing at night meant he was going through menopause. Well. It's not called womenopause. I saw a patient who was concerned because she was still lactating. Despite the fact that she stopped breastfeeding her twins two years ago. She said. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and find my husband sucking on the breasts. He says he's trying to drain the milk for me I had to explain to her that breastfeeding her husband will lead to continued lactation. Paramedic here. Was driving with my partner and patient in the back. Patient was fine. Patient's skeezy boyfriend was riding in the front with me and apparently saw a golden opportunity to ask a question that had obviously been on his mind for some time. Him. So when cats and dogs eat grass. That means they have cancer. Right? Me. Um. No. No it does not. Made for an awkwardly silent ride the rest of the way. Ha ha ha. WTF. And really why did he even assume a paramedic would know whether or not animals have cancer? Not a doctor. But I'm a former special forces medic and I treated indigenous populations in Iraq. Afghanistan and several other Middle Eastern countries. Some of the patients and their families asked incredible things of me. Such as putting brains back inside after an explosion took half the head off. But I have never been as incredulous as when I had to explain wrong hole to a very old tribal elder who was wondering why he couldn't father any children. My mother helps the Amish get dental care. One Amish woman complained that she needed new dentures. When asked why she thought so. She replied. Well. I've lost weight. And you know that when you lose weight. You lose it in your gums first. Doctors and dentists. If you're looking for a community to serve. The Amish can truly use your help. I could write a book about the things I've seen. We're waiting on that book of yours. Dentures. That's actually not as ridiculous as it sounds. Many elderly people deal with weight loss. Due to a number of reasons. As a result they tend to lose muscle mass in their mouth jaw and it often leads to dentures not fitting properly. Dentures tend to be very expensive and are usually not covered under insurance. After receiving your first set. This can lead to further exacerbation of issues relating to eating and further weight loss. Kind of sad. While in dental school my friend pulled out several bombed out, technical term, teeth on an adult male. After the procedure was finished and post-op instructions we given. The man asked. So when should I expect my new teeth to grow in? He was serious. Not a doctor. But I regularly have people come in for eye examinations because when I take my glasses of things are blurry. Often these aren't passing comments during the exam. But the main reason for their visit to the clinic. Medical assistance to a cataract surgeon here. If you ducking sleep in your contact lenses long enough. They will fuse to your eyes and will need surgery to have them removed. Yes. You can go blind from this. For the love of God. Don't sleep in your contact lenses. Not a doctor. Dental hygienist. Had to explain that brushing your teeth with Comet, the cleaner, was not a good way to clean your teeth to a 40 year old woman. Also had to tell a woman that painting her teeth with white fingernail polish was a bad idea. Talking to the children poas of nursing home residents about vaccines. Most will just sign the flu shot form. Some believe it will give their 90 some grand pappy autism. Best comment of the day. No medical professional or anything but a friend of mine did seriously ask me how long she has to wear glasses for her eyes to get better. I'm wearing glasses, since I'm in second grade and my eyesight is so bad, my insurance covers part of my glasses. I have never been more confused by a question ever in my life and I've worked several years in an it hotline.